Hey guys, Corral Cooper here with OnTheBlack.com. So the Mets have lost the first two out of three here to Arizona in a four-game series, and they're going to have their hands full with Dan Heron in game four, so we'll see how they fare. Um, you know, the one game that the Mets did win, K-Rod got a save. It's his first save of the second half of the season here, and it got me to thinking, you know, really what an amazing season K-Rod had last year by breaking the single season record with 62 saves. And just to give you a couple stats um, so you guys can, can see what I'm talking about here, one is, you know, it took K-Rod till August 1st of this year to get his 24th save. He had his 24th save last year on June the 4th, so just about almost two months uh uh, earlier last year than this year to get his 24th save. Also this year, you know, between his last save and the save he got this uh, weekend, you know, was 19 days in between saves. Whereas last year he never went more than seven days without getting a save for the Angels. So again, just kind of pointing out uh, a couple things here to really show that you really need things to fall your way and get those opportunities if you're going to break a record like the all-time saves record. And I'm not saying that K. Rod's having a bad year this year because he's not he's 24 out of 27 in save opportunities he's fourth in the National League in saves and he's doing everything that we brought him here to do but just pointing out that if you're gonna break a record you really need the opportunities he hasn't really gotten uh, you know those opportunities like he had last year even though he's having a pretty good season this year one thing I do want to point out though is the fact that K Rod's strikeouts have gone down year by year over the last three to four years and we knew this when we signed them but just something that you have to watch with closers as their strikeouts start to go down they have to find other ways to get batters out and K-Rod's been able to do that this year with his devastating breaking ball so again uh, not getting the save opportunities that he got last year is obvious I mean he's not going to come close to his record that he had last year still having a good year but just pointing out the fact that K-Rod had an amazing season last year would love to hear some thoughts on this, guys. Talk to you soon.